Hey, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use OBS on Mac to get green screen effect uh, and capture with green screen. The advantages of using OBS as opposed to just recording with a camera or something is that you can actually see the green screen effect live while you're recording on your laptop screen. So OBS is a free open source uh, program that allows you to uh, capture and you can download it in self-service if you're here at Grand Rapids Christian. Uh, just search for OBS. You may need to log in in order to get it. But once you have it downloaded and installed, uh, it looks like this. And what I'm going to do is just add a new scene here. Uh, there's a bit of a learning curve here, but it can do a whole lot of cool stuff once you figure it out. So we'll call this green screen and camera. You can call it whatever you want. You can just even uh, edit the one on scene here. But once you have your scene selected, uh, this is kind of the preset, and now we can add sources. And if we close the program, these will stay. So I'm going to use, first off, a video capture device, which is going to be my webcam. You can call it whatever you want, or you can keep it just the video capture device, that's fine. And I'm going to choose the built-in webcam. And what do you know? There I am. All right, so I hit OK. You can change the resolution if you want to, but I'll keep the resolution pretty high. All right, so there's me. Now, next thing I want is uh, some other footage. I'm going to add an image. And I think I saved some to my desktop here, I'm hoping. Yep, here's grass field. Beautiful nature scene. OK, so now I've got that in here. And uh, yeah, that should do. You can adjust it. You can move it around and, you know, I can zoom in on the tree if I want to drag the corners and make the tree bigger. Uh, but I'll leave it right here. Now, my image is on top of my webcam here, and I want to change that. So I can either take the image and drag it, or I can use these arrow keys. I can highlight it and use the arrow keys here. Uh, but I'll just, uh, there we go. That's good. So now, I want to apply the green screen effect. You can still see the green screen. We want to make that disappear so it's just me and nature. And that's what we're going to do here. So what we do is we click on webcam or your video input and we're going to go to filters. And under effects filters here, we're just going to hit the little plus button to add an effect filter. And the one for green screen is called, called chroma key. We select that, we'll call it green screen. Okay. And now you can see the background has disappeared. Now you can adjust these. Uh, you may need to, but you don't want to do it too much. You got to kind of find the sweet spot here. See if we do it too much, there it's green. If we do it too much, then I disappear. So we want to find it where I'm looking pretty good. I don't have too many green edges. <laughs> A little bit of green edges is okay, but that looks pretty good right there actually. All right. So that's the similarity, the smoothness, same sort of thing here. You want to try to find the sweet spot, but you can just try it as default and you don't have to mess with it. Uh, you can hit close and just see how it looks. So it's pretty good. Now the lighting is a little off and I could mess with that, um, perhaps in my webcam filters or something uh, to get the lighting to look more natural. I look like I'm under bright white and <laughs> this is all warm behind me, but you get the idea. Uh, it's still a pretty good effect. So you can also do this with videos. And so uh, the way I would do it, I could, I could add more images here and then you know I, I could just mute one image uh, by hitting that little eyeball, mute the webcam there, uh, whatever I want to do. But I'm going to add now a video. I have the image muted and I'm going to add window capture. Window capture is what I want. I'm going to call it Chrome because I've got Chrome open and that's going to be the window that I want. And let's see if we can find this here. Now sometimes this can be a little fussy here. You see that Chrome is not showing up. So let me try getting Chrome up and then OBS. Cancel. And let's try going properties. And there we go. Now Google, Google Chrome is here. At least I don't think it was there before. So I might have to have it pulled up here and open. Okay, now I've got this lovely river scene in YouTube. So you can put yourself over a video. Uh, now, if you already have a video downloaded, that's probably easiest, but I'm just showing you how to do it with YouTube. If you already have a video downloaded, then you would want to go, I think, uh, add and then media source, I believe, or yeah, probably probably uh, video source or media source. All right, but we're going to, we got to adjust this a little more here. I want to get rid of that white 
If you just keep clicking, you'll find the, the right window. Okay, that's not it. There we go, I gotta find the upper edge here. And we'll drag it into place. Let's see how that is. That's pretty good, okay. And now I do want to move it down, so I'll drag it below my webcam. And now I'm in the forest. There's a nice flowing river up right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is how you do the green screen effect using OBS. If you are uh, going to be pointing to things, it's kind of nice to be able to see what's going on in the background uh, and see yourself over it so you can see where you're pointing. If you were doing you know, a, a diagram of a cell and pointing to different parts of the cell or the heart or doing a uh, mock weather forecast, you know, the weather people can, can see where they're pointing. Uh, so that's the basics of how you do it. Any questions, let me know. One step that I forgot to mention here is how to actually record. And I'm not by the green screen anymore, but I'll illustrate how it's done anyway. Uh, you just hit start recording here in OBS and we are now recording. It gives you a little timer down there so you can see how long you've been recording. And then when you're done, you hit stop recording. Uh, if you go into settings, there are some shortcut keys you can set to make it even quicker and easier. But that's how you do it. We hit stop recording. Now we should be able to see the file if we go file, show recordings. And there you go. This is the one that I just did. And uh, you can drag that into iMovie or whatever you need for editing purposes. And yeah, that should be it.